Okay, welcome back. This is video two, and what we're going to do in this video is build a mobile RSS app. But before we do so, what we need to do, I was uh, talking with Dr. Halverson, and what we need to do is try to f figure out a way to put all of our apps, all of our assignment apps, onto one app with multiple pages. Because our standard accounts only come with a maximum of three apps. As you can see, if you look on the screen, I'm already at two because I created this first warehouse app and we are working on that Hawaii Electeds app. So if we create the RSS app, then that's at its max. So I figured it out. What we, what we can do is take this app and modify it, create a home page, and links to all of the individual assignments which will be individual pages and hopefully that works so let's begin so basically in this video we're going to be creating the home page the ITM 387E home page and to do that we'll start here and we'll click on this and then we'll rename it because this is no longer going to be the warehouse app we're going to call it the ITM underscore three eight seven E underscore assignments app. So it's ITM three eight seven E assignments app. And we all you you can change the name, you can customize it to whatever you want later. Just rename it. Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna open it up. And all we have to do is make some slight changes and I'll try to work through those right now. So as you can see, it opens up to how it was when we created it first. It has our start screen and our details page. So what we want to do first is rename the start screen because our start screen is actually going to be our home page. So to do that, all we do is we go to the page and then we click on the cog here, the little settings thing, and then we click on rename. And we're going to delete that and we're going to change it to warehouse app because this is actually the start page for the warehouse app so warehouse app and just rename okay now what we have to do is create a home page so as you can see we have the warehouse app and when you test when you run the test it'll still link to the details page so these two are in and of themselves, you know, an individual app, but we have to create our home page now. So we just go to create new page and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine home page. Just to keep it simple in the pages and create page. Oh, it says name should only contain okay ranges. So I'll just take the space out, home page, and then create. Now as you can see on this side the order is a little messed up and by default we want the home page when we load our app to be the first. So unlike some of the other applications where you can drag and drop this requires you to go to project and then app settings so project app settings click on app settings and then if you go over here Dr. Halverson showed me we just change the start start page we change it to from warehouse app which is our, you know our first app we want to make it the home page so we just click on home page and that will change where we start
Okay, now we go back to our home page. And we want to give it a name. So we go to the caption. And you can name it again whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine ITM 387E Assignments Homepage. And then I'm going to leave the defaults. And another good practice that we learned in classes, you always want to change the name. So it's something familiar. In this case it was just the the mobile header. So this one we may not have to. So just leave it as mobile header. Oops. Okay, I think that's fine. The headers don't really need their own names. So what we have to do f then is now is add a list control to this. So we go over to the controls and then we add a list control. We just drag and drop. Okay, so if you look at the syllabus, we have 11 assignments this session. So Right now we only have three items. We want to uh, increase that to 11. So we go over to the properties list and we go down to items and we make that 11. We just click on this bu button over here up to 11 and then click apply. Takes a little while and then it adds 11 items. Now this one we may want to change the name of this list so we, we know which one we're talking about. Because as we add more lists it's going to get confusing so I'm going to name mine list assignments using the camelback notation and then what I'm going to do is click on the first item so I'm going to click on this item and this is going to be the first app that we did the warehouse app so Let's see, I'm going to leave these defaults and just change the text to assignment one. Warehouse app. Okay, and then I'm going to change the name down here. See a name? So when we do the linkings of the buttons, we know which one we're talking about. I'm going to change it to use the convention that Dr. Halverson uses, BTN, and then, oh no, it's not a BTN, it's not a button, it's rather it's an item. You see how these are items? So ITM, item, assignment one. One. So that will help me remember that this list item goes to assignment one. Then the next thing we have to do is I'm just going to save it. Go ahead and save it. Then I'm going to scroll down to the events. I'm going to open this events. And what I want to do is create, with this still highlighted, the component. I want to create a link from this to the warehouse app page. So at your home page, you click on this and it takes you to your warehouse app. To do that, we make sure the component is ITM item assignment one. The event is on click, so when you click it, it'll work. And then the action we want is navigate to page. So we click on that navigate to page. And then the page, we don't want details, we want it the warehouse app page. And then we click save. Okay, so now we can test it. I can minimize this. We we'll save, test.
Okay, as you can see, so as you add assignments, you'll create new pages, and then you can follow these steps to add your links to your other apps that you create. So in this case, we just click on this, and it should take us straight to our warehouse app. And we can test it. You click on coffee. As you can see, it takes you right there, and then you click back. However, now we need a way to get back so there's no button here let's go ahead and add that originally I thought you could just click in the header and then add the back button but for some reason when I tested it it didn't work because it's doesn't know exactly where back is um, I guess it's not quite logical so instead of just clicking back we're going to add a button to the warehouse app page so not that page but this page that the home page links to we'll just dr drag and drop a button into the header right here and we just change the text of that to whatever you'd like I'm gonna make mine home because this is gonna take you back to the home page and it's up to you if you want to use a icon or not I like the home icon it's representative and position is fine left you can change that if you like to the swatches but I do want to change the button name because as we get more buttons it's going to get confusing so because there's a button I use the convention like Dr. Alverson BTN and then this is going to be home button but just by just calling it BTN home because this app will have so many home buttons you can't have them with the same name so because this home button represents assignment one I'm just gonna call it BTN home a1 as for assignment one okay so that should work let's see then all we have to do is create an event to link it back to the home page so as you can see it's already highlighted BTN home button home a1 click select action we want navigate to page and the page we want is the home page and again you can change the transition effect to make it slide or whatnot I'll leave it default for now and then click save okay now I'm gonna save it and then test it and it should work So we go to here and we click on it. It takes us to our warehouse app. We go to coffee, whatnot. We go back. And then we go home. It takes us to our home page. Excellent. So I'm going to stop the video here. And when I start it up, we'll go, go right into creating the new mobile RSS app. Thank you very much for tuning in. And have a great day.